Man-made climate change is one of the biggest issues that we face today. From the food we eat and the objects we use to the places we live, work and study, we are dependent on the Earth's resources for our survival, well-being and success. But too often, our activities have very damaging effects on our surroundings. Pollution, biodiversity loss, deforestation and overconsumption are just a few examples of how humans are having a negative impact on nature. There are numerous people in the global south who are disproportionately affected by the changing climate due in large part to our actions in the global north. In 2015, the United Nations developed the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. With 17 interconnected sustainable development goals at its core, it is the blueprint to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure prosperity for all. The University has signed the SDG Accord, pledging to align our practices and activities to achieving these goals and to annually report on our contribution. Also in 2015, at COP21, the World Climate Summit in Paris, 195 countries agreed to tackle the global warming issue by setting a target to limit global temperature increase to 1.5 degrees. We're currently above 1.1 degrees of warming, with the past decade being the hottest on record. This 1.1 degree increase is already causing floods, droughts, fires, crop failure, conflicts, natural disasters and forced migration of millions of people. In order for humanity to have even a 50-50 chance of survival, we must stay under the 1.5 degree cap and the world must become carbon neutral as soon as possible. Leading scientists have reported that humanity might see a 3-4 to four degree global temperature increase by the end of this century. This will result in increased impacts globally with near certain biodiversity collapse. This biodiversity collapse caused by humanity has already begun and is now counted as the sixth mass extinction event, but there is still a small amount of time to reverse our impacts. The UK government has set a target to cut emissions by 78% by 2035 and get to net zero carbon by 2050. Here, at the University of Warwick, environmental sustainability is one of our main priorities. To that end, we declared a climate emergency in 2019 and committed to net zero carbon emissions from the energy we generate and use on campus by 2030, and to net zero carbon emissions from indirect sources such as deliveries and travel by 2050. The University Provost is the executive board lead for the University Sustainability Strategy and its implementation through the Environmental Sustainability and Social Action Group, or ESAG for short. The Environmental Sustainability team in the States, along with Green Champions in numerous departments, work together with our campus population to implement the University's Way to Sustainable strategy, which focus on five main goals. These are reduce our scope one and two carbon emissions, reduce our scope three carbon emissions, act on the UN Sustainable Development Goals, embed sustainability into all curriculums, main curricula, extracurricular and the hidden curricula, and support biodiversity net gain. As students, you are also supported by your environmental and ethics officer and sabbatical team at the Students' Union. With over 4,000 solar panels producing enough energy to supply 159 homes per year and plans to increase this, protected green spaces to improve and enhance our campus habitats for flora and fauna, bug hotels and apiary for bees, a large electrical vehicle fleet, numerous sustainable transport options, energy efficient buildings and facilities to generate more than half of our energy on campus, it is clear to see that the university takes sustainability very seriously. However, in order for the university to improve its environmental performance, every member of our community must take responsibility for their environmental impact. There are a number of ways you can act sustainably on campus, starting with how you get there. If you live in the surrounding area and are able to, try walking, cycling or catching the bus onto campus. Opting out of using a car will benefit both your health and the environment. On campus, we're increasing the areas for pedestrians and cyclists. We have facilities for storing your own bike and a bike hire scheme, which is linked across the West Midlands to allow you to travel across campus and around the region with ease. There are on-campus bike sales throughout the year so that you can pick up your own bike and there is a weekly bike repair and maintenance service on campus to ensure smooth running and safety. You can also sign up for cycling lessons in the local area. 
There is an e-scooter hire scheme on campus, allowing those with driver's licenses to move across campus quickly and easily. In a local area, you can make use of the West Midlands on-demand bus service. This service will meet you wherever you are. Think of it as a cross between a taxi and a bus. You can book a ride via the West Midlands on-demand app by inserting a pickup and drop-up location. You will then be matched with other passengers heading in the same direction. You can book rides when you're ready to go or pre-book rides days in advance. There are regular bus services from Glemington Spa, Coventry, Warwick, Tar Hill and Canley with Stagecoach and National Express offering student bus passes to save money and time on your daily commute. The University has also supported the creation of Bus 14, which offers subsidised fares of only £1 to those who show their University ID. The new service connects campus to Coventry City Centre, Tile Hill Railway Station, Eastern Green and Cannon Park shops. We advise against bringing your car to Warwick. You can, however, make use of the Electric Car Club rental scheme. Sign up to Lift and Go, our carpooling scheme. Get rewards and exclusive car parking spaces on campus. Sign up as a driver, passenger or both and get matched with other users in the area and find the best ride for you. Only make use of taxis and Ubers where absolutely essential and alternative modes of travel are unavailable. Be rewarded for travelling in a sustainable way. Download the Better Points app and choose your way Warwick. For more information on transport options, please visit www.warwick.ac.uk forward slash environment forward slash transport. When using university facilities, consider your energy and water usage. In halls, we run an inter-hall energy and water saving competition called Cut the Flow. By ensuring you keep your energy and water usage low throughout each term, it will increase your block's chance of winning and also prepare you for off-campus accommodation when you will be paying your own bills. Look out for information and updates about how your block is doing. Please consider doing the following to save electricity. Turn off the lights when leaving a room. Turn off all equipment at the plug when not in use. Do not leave the hob or oven on after use. Only boil as much water as you need in either the pan or the kettle. And ensure any electrical appliances purchased are energy efficient. Please note that space heaters, fans, cooking and other domestic appliances are not allowed in study bedrooms without prior approval. To save water, you can take short showers, turn the tap off while brushing your teeth or shaving, wash your dishes in a washing up bowl or use a plug, report drips, leaks and constantly flushing toilets, only wash full loads of clothing. Please note that cold water is safe to drink from the taps. You can even refill a bottle to reduce your plastic use. Download the refill app to easily find refill points in your area. Reduce your impact by using less heating by ensuring you wear clothing appropriate to the weather. If you are cold, layer up on clothing before you turn up the heating. Turning your thermostatic radiator valve off before you open a window to avoid heat escaping. Ensure to keep your room well ventilated to avoid damp. Here at Warwick, everyone follows the waste hierarchy as we move towards a circular economy to ensure the preservation of resources for future generations. The waste hierarchy consists of reduce, reuse, recycle, recover and dispose. Whenever possible, we must seek to ensure that recycle is the final stop on the item's journey. We first aim to reduce waste by avoiding purchasing items with packaging or not buying items at all if you do not need them. Take your own bags when shopping, as shops have to charge for new bags. Shop in zero waste stores where possible. We have many local zero waste shops. There are also regular farmers markets on the piazza, which is a great opportunity to get fresh local produce. Alternatively, you can choose to do group grocery shop online for delivery to the whole flat. If you do go to local supermarkets, please leave trolleys at the store, as removing them from site is prohibited. The outlets on campus offer a range of discounts for using your reusable cup, as using non-recyclable disposable cups is discouraged. Many outlets will provide takeaway containers or will fill your own Tupperware to help prevent food waste. You can also reduce your waste in the kitchen by taking advantage of the freezer. You can freeze all foods including milk, bread, eggs and rice. You can cook large batches of food and freeze them to reheat on a different day. 
Also make sure you are aware of the meaning of food dates. Sell by can be ignored. Best before means that food is optimum before that date, but can still be consumed after that date if it looks and smells correct. Items past their use by date should be thrown in the bin. For more information on reducing food waste, visit lovefoodhatewaste.com. Another way to prevent waste is when it comes to printing. Please consider if you need to print it, or if you could have it in digital format. If you do need to print, make sure that you print double-sided and in black and white where possible. Are you able to reuse, fix, upcycle, or donate the item you have before throwing it away? We have a number of initiatives at Warwick to aid you in this, including Swap Shop to renew your wardrobe by swapping your current clothes for different ones or just pay as you feel. British Heart Foundation charity collection bins on campus. Raucous collections and a second-hand market at the beginning of Term 1 to grab those university essentials to support you in being more environmentally friendly without breaking the bank. You can also donate food and items at the end of each term to many local charities. And you can learn how to build, fix and upcycle your belongings on campus. The university has teamed up with Unikit Out to offer a way of purchasing items like duvets or kitchenware before you arrive on campus. This means if you are coming from abroad and expect to arrive early in the morning, you can have bedding ready to go. It also means that you do not need to purchase family packs of items as you can order single plates bowls and cutlery. We ask that everybody reduce their use of single-use plastics as it has a negative effect on the environment. You can switch out of many of your everyday products to reusable items. To cut down on food waste, the Olio, Food Sharing and Too Good To Go discounted food apps are widely used on campus. You can also donate food to charity via the food donation point at Roots Grocery Store. If the item that you have can't be reused, then segregate it on campus for recycling or disposal. It's important to dispose of your rubbish correctly, as incorrect items or contamination in the recycling bin will unfortunately result in that bag being burnt to produce energy, instead of being sent to a mixed recycling facility to be separated out and used to create new items such as clothing, cans and bikes. In order to avoid contamination, look at the label on the item to know which bin to put it in. The bins are clearly labeled. You may notice that the bins at Warwick state clean recyclables. We ask, where possible, for everyone to clean their items before putting them in the bin. As you can see, this only requires a rinse. If you cannot clean the item, then it is okay to put it in the clean recycling if there is minor contamination. However, if the item is heavily soiled, or you are unsure of which bin to use, please dispose of it in the non-recyclables bin. In halls of residence, you will also find a sharps bin. Please put any sharps in this bin only. Do not put any sharps in any other bin. Your room will have a bin in it. We recommend using this as your non-recyclables bin only and having a separate reusable bag for recyclable items which you can empty into the main kitchen recycling bin. You can recycle your crisp packets in the designated collection point at the Students' Union. In halls of residence, the green bag is used for clean recyclables and the white bag is used for non-recyclables. It is important that these are the correct way around to avoid contamination. If you run out of these bags, please let accommodation know. It is your collective responsibility to empty the bins and take the bags to the designated waste area or container. A way to do this is to agree a rota with your flatmates. Please ensure you tie the bag at the top to avoid waste spilling out. You then need to take the tied bag to your designated area outside the halls of residence. Please ensure that you put the bag into an empty bin. If one is full, check the others. Ensure that you keep the areas clean and tidy and do not leave the bag on the floor as this can attract pests and vermin. If you have any electronic items that you wish to dispose of, please get in touch with waste and recycling at warwick.ac.uk or donate them to charity if they are still working. Don't forget, littering is illegal and you can be fined or face prosecution, so please clean up after yourself. If you are living off campus in Coventry at any time, you can download the Your Rubbish app, which informs you of what items go to which bin and when bins are collected.
amongst other useful information. Or, if you live in Warwickshire, check out warwickshire.slim-your-bin.com. Everything you do creates a carbon trail, including what you eat. Your dietary choices can account for 50% of your carbon footprint. Look out for promotions of vegan and vegetarian options when you're out and about and try to buy local produce. When it comes to purchasing items, please consider the following. Do you need it? Is the food British and in season? Can you buy secondhand? There are a large number of charity shops across the local area. Is the item ethically made? Apps such as Good On You will help you navigate which brands you can trust. And is it made or produced locally? To positively contribute to the world and reduce your carbon footprint, why not sign up to the Geeky web app at zero.geeky.earth to discover some of the many individual actions you can take. You can also make Ecosia your search engine. Ecosia uses the profit that they make from our searches to plant trees where they are needed most. We are also part of the Hedgehog Friendly Campus initiative, focused on making campus a place where this endangered species can thrive. We undertake surveys to look for signs of hedgehogs and other animals and encourage people to get involved to help wildlife on campus with litter picks and other activities and further afield through Warwick volunteers. You can sign up to be alerted of wildlife conservation opportunities. So how can you find out more and get involved? You can learn more about sustainability by attending one of our many sustainability events, including Green Week in March, guest lectures and environmental talks. With over 20 sustainability-related societies and groups, modules around sustainable development and volunteering opportunities, there is likely to be something to meet your interests. Make use of your newly learned knowledge for the benefit of society through dissertations for good and projects that matter. You can also use the campus as a living laboratory to test ideas by linking with Warwick Enterprise who offer various support and funding, researchers and businesses off campus. Societies are encouraged to develop an environmental action plan each year to reduce their impact and participate in community environmental work. You could join the Green Champions Network of like-minded individuals or apply for the Environmental Sustainability Fund at the Students' Union, which supports students in sustainable projects and initiatives. There are a whole host of organisations in the region leading on climate action that you can get involved with. Head to the Sustainability Hub on the University's website to check out the full range of external organisations. Any questions? Want to know more? Or have any suggestions for ways Warwick can improve its sustainability? Visit our website at warwick.ac.uk forward slash environment. Alternatively, email us sustainability at warwick.ac.uk and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Warwick Unisust to stay up to date with sustainability news and information. As global citizens, we all have a stake in our future and a responsibility to protect it. What will you do? Thank you for listening and welcome to Warwick.